Hey guys, this is a review of the Stag Silent Electric Violin. Uh, I've played this for about a month now and I decided I would give it a review. When I first bought this thing, uh, I wasn't exactly that happy, but I've started... Uh, well, I changed a couple of things. It came with some really bad strings, a horrible bridge, and a horrible bow. Uh, the case as well was really flimsy and uh, it's pretty useless. Um, the one problem probably with the bridge that I came with is that it's too tall. So when you, as you get higher up on the fingerboard, um, the strings um, start like elevating from the fingerboard and so it gets really hard to press down the strings so you get the right notes. Um, also, the strings that came, they were they were really just bad, so I exchanged them with these Eva Perazzi um, Perastro strings. Um, they're really good. Uh, in fact, they're probably more expensive than the violin itself. Um, yeah. Uh, one thing to note about this uh, violin is probably that it has one lead um, and one headphone. Um, yeah, headphone outtake. And the, head, the one with the headphones is pretty useless. There's a lot of static noise when you play it, and yeah, I recommend not using it, really. Unless you're just fingering and, you know, practicing with the, the violin. Um, also, let's see, what else is there to say? Yeah, the, the tuners right here are really, really stiff, and probably going to need to put some oil on them to to get it moving. Uh, yeah, I was gonna compare uh, like, it's a silent violin, right? So it's supposed to be silent. I'll give you an example and a comparison between this uh, violin and another acoustic violin that I have. Let's see. Right, so as you can tell, it makes quite a bit of noise, and it's not exactly silent. But I mean, what can you expect? It's uh, like $100. And here's an acoustic violin, and yeah, so let's give it a try. silent compared to an acoustic violin but it still makes makes some noise uh, also another thing to note about this uh, electric violin is that right here on the back you have this uh, well this plastic that uh, hides all the electronics underneath and it really interferes with the the shoulder rest so uh, the shoulder rest tends to fall um, off quite often. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I figured I'd play this for you um, on the on the amp, and so you have a feeling of what it sounds like. Oh yeah, note that it does have an equalizer on it, uh, low, high, and then volume. Uh, I normally don't use this, as you can use it um, adjust the same thing on the amp, and it's probably a lot better on the amp. So normally when you play it, you would keep these low and high on the lowest, yeah. But I'll play it for you, I guess. Um, it is a cheap uh, electric violin, but it does give some good sound. This is without any effects, by the way. Uh... 